Today I'm going to show you how to remove the water restrictor on this Delta. Uh, it's an intuition, kind of a two-in-one shower head. Uh, it's got a little handheld uh, unit, comes with a hose, and this pops out of this piece. I'll show you here in a second. And this, of course, remains mounted to your, to your uh, water outlet on your shower. So inside here is a water restrictor uh, underneath this screen. Now you're going to want to keep that screen. You don't want to damage it or that rubber seal. So we'll take that out and then we should be able to get access to that water restrictor. And what that's going to do is going to allow the water to flow much more freely, give you much better water pressure when you're taking a shower. Now what I'm using is a, a little pick. You can buy these at the hardware store. I use them all the time. Now they look kind of like a almost like an ice pick, but they're smaller. And I use a little pick to get just under that rubber grommet or that rubber seal and lift this out. That lifts out the screen and the rubber seal. And then you'll see down in there that green piece, that is the water restrictor that we're going to remove. And I'm going to try to use needle nose pliers to get that out. It's kind of hard, <clears throat> hard to film this and do it at the same time. But you've got that little, there's a little tab there. Not sure if you can see, I can just enough just enough to get this needle nose plier on and I'm going to pull up and see if I can pull this out. Okay, there it came loose. So there's the water restrictor. I don't think we need to keep it for any reason. So even if you have to destroy it to get it out, but if you give it a good firm tug with those, uh, those needle nose pliers, it should come out. You can see the little tabs there that you can kind of grab hold of once it's out. You can, you can sort of see what we're talking about. Okay, so now you can see we've got a good, clean, clear opening with no restriction. Of course, you don't want to forget to replace the screen and the rubber grommet. Push that all the way down, and it will go down. Of course, when you screw this into your water outlet, it will push that where it needs to be. Just don't forget to put that because that screen is very important.